Hey everybody, welcome to the Wednesday Word of the Week, Wednesday Wisdom. I am your host of the Wednesday Word, Wednesday Wisdom. My name is David Bradley. Thank you for being here today. This week's word, I'm going to get right into it. This week's word is never. Last week's word was always. So this week, what we're going to do is look at the exact opposite of always, and we're going to talk about never. So I got the definition of the word never right here. Let's just read this off real fast. Not ever, at no time, not in any degree, not under any condition. Okay, let's use it in a sentence, shall we? Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie and hurt you. So do you remember last week, what do we, what do we start last week with? Number one, thoughts or things. I think we can have full agreement on that. And then only a Sith deals in absolute. So what that means, right, is that if things are always this way or things never happen this way or what have you, now we're dealing with absolutes. And these absolutes, they're just not true. So, I mean, like, how do you use that word right now? Do you believe things like, It'll never work out for me. This never happens. You never answer when I call. Now, you know the universe is listening, right? You're aware of that. So whatever you're putting out there, whether it's in your thoughts or in your voice, the universe listens and they respond accordingly. So like last week, <clears throat> I mentioned that I always get a great parking space. And the reason for that is because I say that and I believe it. Because before, I used to say, man, I can never get a good parking space. You know what happened? That was true. It became true because I reinforced it. Okay. But now I flipped it. Okay. So just start, I mean, this Wednesday, what we want to start doing is really looking at, hey man, how are we using the word never? Am I using it in a good way? Am I using it in a bad way? Am I using it like saying things like, hey, I never get sick, and then meaning it. Have you ever thought, man, I'm never going to win, so why even bother trying? Have you thought that? I know I have. I used to think that a lot. Why? Because when I was a kid and I tried to play baseball, I was not good. In fact, when I stood up at the plate, I was scared. I was scared, okay? And I was afraid of getting hit. I was afraid of being too slow, if, even if I did get a hit, right? So, like, I was just scared. Okay, and so I got, I learned very early on that I was never going to win. I was never going to get a hit. I was never going to get on base unless I got myself walked. Never, never, never. And it permeated into a whole vast section of my life, and it killed my self-esteem. Here's a little personal message for you, right? I made a decision that I'm never going to be good at this. So consequently, I also excuse myself from ever having to try. And it took me until adulthood to recognize that and put a can stop to it. So now, if you're in sales, if you're in business, if you're a salesperson, look very closely at how you use the word never, especially in relation to your customer. Man, this dude's never going to buy. Well, you'll just go ahead and make that true. Okay? Managers, when you look at your salesperson, Dude, that, that dude's never going to be any good, okay? You'll make sure of that just because you're thinking it. I'm going to tell you here, right here, right now, Wednesday, I want you to sweat the small stuff because it's these small words, it's these tiny little small thoughts that we have that are seeds and they get planted and then they grow and they germinate and they expand, okay? Some words... Even always and never, if you use them right, then they can bloom into beautiful flowers. But if you use them wrong, they will metastasize and they'll be like cancer. Start taking total responsibility for the thoughts in your mind and the words that are coming out of your mouth. Catch yourself thinking and talking like a Sith. And then remember the words of Grant Cardone, nothing is happening to you, it is happening because of you. And Ralph Waldo Emerson, a man is what he thinks he is all day. This is about your life. It's about your attitude. You have control over both. The question is, how will you decide to use these words? Always was last week. This week is never. Going into this week, 
Same, same as last week. Just start being very, 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 very aware of how you're using the word never. And when you catch it in a negative context, flip it. Next week, we're talking about, you want me to tell you? Should I tell you? Should I just give it up? Yeah. This, this will give you a reason to come back. Next week, the word is wealth. Get ready for it.